I'm going to show you how to replace 20 lines of code with just six by using this link operator. Imagine you have a query that returns many results. The chances are you want to process those results in batches rather than try and process all 100,000 at once. This is a really common pattern. So let's have a look here. We have a list. In my case, only five entries as an example. And then we're going to process this in batches of two. We have to use two because I have a small list, but yours might be 100,000 items and you want to process them 1,000 at a time. How do we do that? Well, the old style way is something like this. We're going to create a list that holds our chunk at a time. We're going to use a for each to go over every item. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to add the new item into the chunk. Once we hit our chunking limit, two items in a chunk, we're going to come into this block in this case, this case, we're going to process them by just outputting them to the screen. And then we're going to clear the chunk because we're finished. And then we can go around again. And so we're going to get chunks of two, which we process at a time. But there's a downside of this technique. Not only is this code quite long, there's a gotcha. The last chunk might contain one item. Therefore, we need to process it after this loop. So we have to have an extra condition that says, if our chunk container has some items in it, we need to then process that last partial chunk. So we've ended up with quite a lot of code there, 20 lines of code, to do something that's relatively straightforward. But we can use this link operator to simplify. So there we go, much simpler. We're going to use the link operator called chunk, not surprisingly, and we want it to give us back chunks of two each. What this will do is give us a list of lists. And each list will be a maximum of two items. So in that case, our inner loop is very simple. We just iterate over an individual chunk, which gives us our two items, and then output. It automatically handles that tricky scenario where the last chunk might have only partial items in it because it's not full. Let's run it just to double check it works. And there we go. The first chunk with two items the second chunk with two items, and then the remainder. So remember the chunk operator. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and until next time, be awesome.